Hey guys, this is Roxon087, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Ops Easy Playcare from UR Tactical. So Ops, or the Optimum Performance System, is a relatively well-known company in Hong Kong for producing a wide range of tactical gear, covering everything from top to bottom with various types of camouflage. So right over here, we have the Ops Easy Play Carrier in Cry Multicam, and this is the medium-sized one, retailing for 118 US dollars for all the camouflage versions and 108 US dollars for all of your solid colors. In Hong Kong, the prices of these sit around 800 to 900 Hong Kong dollars, depending on which distributor you decide to get it from. So let's talk about your color options now. Now, I might miss a couple of colors just because there are so many different types of colors for this. In fact, Ops is sort of known for making their gear in lots and lots of different types of camouflage. Like all their uniforms, they literally have every single color that I've ever seen. So forgive me if I miss out on a couple, but in general, they pretty much have everything you got. For your solid colors, they have your basic black, coyote brown, and ranger green. You also got your normal cry multicam, of course. They have the multicam tropic and multicam black as well. They also got your AR-01, AR-02, Marpat, all the Cryptek colors, most of the Atax colors, and you also have some of the Pencot colors, which is quite interesting. So yeah, many colors to choose from, you should be covered. Let's take a quick look at the build now. So this play carrier is constructed of 500 d Couture fabric, making it very lightweight, and it only comes in medium or large size. So if you're the extra large type of guy, be wary that um, this play carrier may look a little bit weird on you. Just to give you a heads up on my measurements, I'm exactly 200 pounds, and I'm slightly under 6'1", just ever so slightly. So I'm sort of big for sort of a guy in Hong Kong, but this play here still fits relatively okay on me. But I digress, back to the main point. When you get this out of the package, it comes with four of these ITW Nexus female clips, and they are, in fact, the proper clips. I use this with my Hey Strategic D3 Trust Rig, and it fits perfectly. Just to give you a quick demonstration, plugs in perfectly. To give you guys a better idea about the measurements, uh, this is for the medium sized play carrier. It measures 13 inches in length, 10 inches in width, and goes down to about 5 inches on the top here. And this is because of the relatively steep operator cut. As you can see, it actually exposes a fairly large portion of my chest. I believe these operator cuts are for to allow you to shoulder your rifle a little bit better, and allow you to tuck in a little bit better. It also means that this play carrier is unusually compact and low profile was to most other play carriers out there. I would actually sort of compare this to the Cry JPC or the LBT uh, because the overall profile and the sizing it is very very similar um, in just the general uh, sizing of the plates. In fact right now I'm actually currently using the PTS dummy sappy plates which I'll show you later on in the video. Taking a closer look at the front panel we have a standard middle spec power swimming, six channels one in the lower and four channels one in the top with velcro space for your patches and stuff like how I have it on right now. And it also has three rolls of vertical webbings on the left and right side for your ITW Nexus female clips. And what you basically do is that you attach two. I currently have it attached onto the highest webbing and the lowest webbing on the vertical channels. And what you can do is that you can attach any aftermarket chest rig that's compatible with this, like how I have it right here. Um, it may be worth noting that I currently have the Mayflower Swift clip kits on the side of my plate here, as you can see there. I'm not so sure if Ops provide these, but I chose to use the Mayflower one just so that because I feel a little bit more comfortable using something that actually works in the long term. Um, these Mayflower Swift clip kits are known to be very, very durable. They're one of the few pieces of clips uh, kits that nothing ever really happens to them. They never really break or anything like that. Despite, despite the fact of how thin, despite the way that they secure onto the play carrier, they're actually very, very secure. So besides the Haley chest rig, there are other kinds of chest rigs that you can use, uh, such as the Mayflower UW Gen 3. Um, there should be a picture for you guys on the screen just to take for you guys to take a look at. It is significantly bigger than the Haley one. I personally prefer that, just that you can store a little bit more stuff. But another more economical uh, chest rig that you can look at is the Ops Easy Chest Rig, which is actually very, very affordable. It actually looks exactly the same as the Haley Strategic one, except that it has modular... It has molly in the middle here, so that it's modular and you can attach different kinds of pouches onto it. Um, in that sense, that actually makes it more flexible than this fixed chest rig system, which I have over here. Um, to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description somewhere on the screen for you guys of all three chest rigs that I've mentioned so far. But back to something a little bit more positive, it has a cover button system. And what this basically means is that this plate here is highly adjustable. 
as you can see here, this is basically how it works. You may recognize this because this looks exactly the same as the Mayflower one. In fact, it pretty much works exactly the same. You can add this over on top of this piece over here, and it will hold on. Or you can just have it out like I used to have it. And if you're just a little bit bigger, if you're an extra large type of guy, just have it all the way out here. Now, uh, here's the weird part, the back of this. Uh, I'll need to, I need to take this off to quickly show you. So this is part where I go over a little bit more about it, just because the carbon system over here is a little bit weird. As you can see, it actually attaches by weaving it through this, which is just a loop over here, and then you actually molly weave this onto the back panel, and that's actually how it attaches onto the back. Um, this is a very, very weird way of attaching. I've never had a plate here where the carbon system actually molly weaves into the back panel. I've never had one like that. This is certainly the first time I've seen one. Um, I wasn't aware of it when I first got it, but this is just a little bit weird. Um, it is in fact secure. Don't get me wrong. It is in fact secure. Um, keep in mind that I actually have the Swift Clip Kits and I actually have a pouch here and I actually have the setting on a quite tight. So what that basically means is that I tug on these cummerbund systems by quite a lot and they've been holding up. You just have to make sure that you molly weave it properly and it'll be fine. Um, it actually doesn't even have one of those clips that clips the molly in the end. I just weaved it through, weave it back up a little bit, and that's about it. Um, very, very simple to do, very easy to do. Um, that was the first thing I did when I got this uh, when I got this play carrier about three months ago, and it's been there ever since. I've never even adjusted it. Uh, you can, in fact, have the carbon systems on top of each other. However, I don't like to do that because it adds a little bit of excess bulk at the back. Um, so that's personally the reason why I don't do it. Um, in fact, that's actually one of the negatives. Um, if you actually look right here right now, there's a bit of a layer over here. I'm not a big fan of this, um, but it's sort of unavoidable. Most play carriers that have a carbon system at the back, they generally have a little bit of excess bulk at the back. You can't really can't avoid this if you're looking for a play carrier that uh, that has just full molly stuff on it. That just tends to be the case. Uh, just know that it's secure. Just know that's fine. It works. Um, I actually have this also here, which is my medical pouch, and I actually have it weaved onto the carbon system so that's just more the reason why it's secure um, but while we're looking at the back panel as well you will notice that there are some vertical channels over here I'm not so sure what the application of that is right now um, I don't have any uh, quick detach hydration packs or backpacks that's compatible with this but uh, I would imagine there must be something out there that's compatible and the last thing I want to note is the carry handle over here which is quite nice it is velcro shut um, I just have this loop here just for me to hang and hang somewhere whenever I'm not wearing the plate carrier. As for the shoulder straps, over here as you can see, it's actually part of the back panel. So this shoulder strap, unfortunately, you can never ever change it out with something else. Uh, it is in fact padded. There is a bit of padding in there, but it's not a whole lot. So if you have a lot of weight on this plate carrier, be wary that it may be uncomfortable in your shoulders, especially if you do a lot of exercises that sort of makes your neck muscle a little bit bigger. Sometimes this area over here is not sufficient. Sometimes more padding is a little bit more helpful, uh, especially if you're the most entire player that carries a lot on your persons, like a hydration carrier or your ammo and food and all that stuff. This may not be sufficient for you. Uh, but this play carrier wasn't meant to be for that purpose, I don't think, because despite the molly, uh, the molly area all over the play carrier, it can't actually carry all that gigantic bulky gear. So this for me is sufficient. Um, I would say that a negative sort of a negative is that the padding is not, there isn't as much padding as I want it to be. And another negative I would say is that I actually prefer shoulder straps that actually have a cover over it where you can hide your wires, your comm wires, or your hydration cables, or run your hydration cables through them. I prefer if there was a little bit more coverage. Just, um, I, don't, I don't like to have water getting near the comms. So that's the reason why I actually don't use comms. I use a actual, I use my speaker actually. So that's the unfortunate thing. Uh, that may be a, a very, very big concern for you. Certainly think about that. If you're the type of guy who does Milsim in, in the US a lot or just play a lot of Milsim games, I highly doubt that you guys will like this shoulder strap system. So hopefully this will be the final part of the video. Um, this is just to show you guys what the plates like and how they fit. Right now, I currently have the PTS dummy sappy plates in here which they are foam plates, and they simply attach on very, very simply. Uh, you just tuck it in. There's nothing securing the plate in. You just This part in, in itself is the thing that secures it inside. Um, this is quite an interesting plate. You actually notice that it actually can fold up like this. It actually unfolds itself. It's actually a very, very comfortable plate. Uh, these plates are quite pricey. Be wary that I think they're about 200 Hong Kong dollars 
for a set, which is the most expensive dummy plates I've ever bought. Um, I bought it at a slightly cheaper price just because I knew the guy, but you know they're they're not bad. Um, if you're the Mil uh, if you're the Milson player, maybe this can be something you can look at. I would just cut up foam plates and just use them to tell the truth. But anyways, I just have them on right there. They fit them perfectly. You will notice that it actually fills up all the gaps on the side. Um, so it is an absolutely perfect fit. The medium size plate carriers. Oh, by the way, this plate, the PTS Sapu plate, only comes in medium size, and it fits this perfectly. Now the back, it is slightly more thicker, just because it will feel slightly more thicker, um, just because of this excess material at the back over here. So yeah, nothing else special to know. It's just very very simple system really. Um, it's uh, very very low pro, very very thin. Um, a lot less material than I expected when I actually first took it out, because in, in here there isn't any sort of ventilation stuff, no extra stitching or anything like that. It's actually very very straightforward. And uh, one last thing I forgot to mention while I was talking about the cummerbund system is the fact that the inside over here basically has it, it doesn't take in sweat very well, which is sort of a good thing, sort of a bad thing. The good thing is that it doesn't doesn't it doesn't stink as much afterwards. Uh, the bad thing is breathability on the sides is actually not so good. However, it doesn't cover much of your body, so breathability shouldn't be too big of a problem. Before I end the video, this is pretty much what my setup is like. Um, most of the time I run around the field like this. It's basically just have my DQ chest rig and my holsters. You may notice that everything sits very, very high up, as I mentioned earlier on in the video. And the reason why that is is because I just like to have that extra fle flexibility. Whenever I go very low on barricades and whenever I run around, I like to be able to keep my head down. So basically, I like to have nothing here interfering with me going down. And I just like everything high up, just so that I can keep track of it. Uh, it's just the way I like to run my gear. I'm not exactly sure how people normally run gear that's very, very low profile and very, very slim. I'm not exactly sure how you guys normally run that, but this is how I like to run it. Um, so forgive me if this whole entire time has been looking a little bit weird in the video. It's just because I like to configure my gear in a weird way. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions about it. Um, this is a play care that's relatively popular, I would say, even though not many too many people know about them. It's because these play characters have been out for literally quite a long time. So I'm actually kind of sort of surprised that not too many people have information about it. So hopefully this video helps you. Please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Also a Facebook page that you can follow me on, uh, which is on www.facebook slash broke system 087. Peace guys. Happy shooting.